Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today I wanted to give you a couple of tips when it comes to fishing a skirtless chatterbait. It can be a really effective bait, and not many guys are fishing it, so stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about fishing a skirtless chatterbait. Now this is nothing that is a secret. It's nothing that's new. It's something that's kind of developed over the last couple of years as chatterbaits have become extremely popular. And guys, as you know, the chatterbait is one of the best bass fishing lures out there on the market. It's one of the best tools as fishermen that we have to locate bass and catch bass. It's, it's all around a great lure. Now, the thing is, is that everybody is fishing a chatterbait these days. So today I wanted to give you a few tips on when I think you should actually switch over to a skirtless chatterbait like the one that I got here. All right, guys, as always, this video is brought to you by the Bass Hat. So if you click on the link in the description, you can pick up a hat and greatly help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel. In reality, if you think about it, a chatterbait without a skirt is basically like a scrounger, but it has more vibration than a scrounger. You know a scrounger is a great bait. That's a bait that kind of flies under the radar, although most people know about the scrounger. There's not a lot of guys that are actually fishing it. So with that being said, a unskirted chatterbait, a chatterbait like this, I'm calling it a naked chatterbait. This bait can get bit in a lot of situations where the traditional chatterbait doesn't work quite as effective. And it's something that I like to change to a lot, especially if I'm getting bites where the fish seem to be missing my, my typical chatterbait or something just seems a little bit off. But I'm gonna talk about this real quick and then I'm gonna get into a few situations where I actually like to fish the unskirted chatterbait. So guys, when it comes to the chatterbait itself, I really like to use just your standard original chatterbait. The reason why I like the original chatterbait in this situation is the jackhammer is an expensive bait. It actually comes with a wire tied skirt on it. It's a little bit more difficult to take off, although you can do that. Once you take that skirt off though, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to get that skirt back on without actually tying it on itself. So again, I like the original chatterbait for a lot of times. I'm gonna use anything from a quarter ounce, three eighths to a half ounce. Guys, it really just depends on the situation. It depends on how low I want to get that bait in the water column. And when it comes to your equipment, I like the standard chatterbait equipment. Now for me, I actually use an Akuma crankbait rod. This is a seven foot medium heavy action rod. To me, this is not a glass rod, it's a graphite rod, but it has one of those very parabolic bending actions to it. And I think that it works really, really well with the chatterbait. I've been able to use this a lot during the spring this year, catching a lot of fish on it. And all of the fish are hooked extremely well because it just has a little bit of give to really allow them to get that bait. And also I'm not losing fish at all. I'm gonna use my typical line anywhere from 15 pound fluorocarbon to 20 pound fluorocarbon. And again, depends on cover, depends on how deep I wanna get that bait. And anything from a six three to one gear ratio to an eight to one gear ratio re reel with the standard being a seven one to one. That's the setup for the skirtless chatterbait. It's pretty much the same as your typical chatterbait. So now let's get into a situation where I actually prefer the non-skirted chatterbait over a regular traditional skirted chatterbait. If you've ever wanted to fish a chatterbait a little bit deeper, for instance, maybe you wanna fish it on an offshore rock pile, or maybe you wanna fish it around a deeper grass line. Guys, you would be surprised at just how deep down a chatterbait without a skirt gets in comparison to a chatterbait that does have a skirt. That skirt provides a lot of drag and a lot of lift. So it's gonna keep that bait really, really high in the water column. But guys, I'm telling you what, you simply take the skirt off. For instance, right here, I've got a half ounce chatterbait, guys. This thing will get down to six, seven, eight foot Literally no problem at all. It's it's my typical cast, it's gonna get a lot deeper. I like to rig my chatterbait when I'm doing it like this with a non-boot tail style swim bait. Again, a non-boot tail style. So whether that's like a Yamamoto Zeko type trailer or even a fluke, guys, that is gonna be a great trailer. It has very little drag, it gets really deep, and that's going to be great for getting deeper. So anytime you wanna try to get a chatterbait deeper, 
pick up the skirtless one. So guys, the next place that I really like to fish, the skirtless chatterbait, is really anytime I'm fishing around a heavily pressured body of water. You guys know that waters that are around you, you guys know the areas where it seems like a lot of guys are fishing chatterbaits. The, the, those lakes that get a tremendous amount of pressure, maybe it's smaller lakes, it could even be bigger lakes like Lake Gunnersville. That lake gets a ton of chatterbait pressure, guys. In those areas, I really like that same vibration, but in this case, I'm gonna take that skirt off. And I know it may not seem like a huge change, but if you simply take the skirt off, that bait's gonna have a little bit different action. It's gonna have a little bit more vibration. It's just going to be different. And guys, anytime you can be different, when you're dealing with a highly pressured body of water, that is what's going to get you more bites. Whether you're fishing in a boat or whether you're fishing on land, guys, anytime you're dealing with highly pressured water, I always like to take that skirt off and fish it. So the last situation where I really like to fish the skirtless chatterbait is anytime I'm fishing very clear water. A regular chatterbait, one with a skirt, does work well in clear water, but sometimes I think that using the skirtless one in that clear water is going to help you get an extra couple of bites. So, and it may be for some of the reasons like we talked about earlier. Sometimes when you're fishing a little bit clearer water, you wanna get that bait down a little bit lower in the water column. And so in that case, that skirtless one is gonna get deeper in the water column. It's gonna allow you to get more bites. And I can't stress to you how important it is to just get more bites anytime you're fishing in a tournament or just if you're out there fun fishing. All right guys, so I hope you've been enjoying these videos. I've been trying to get a video out to you guys daily. If you guys do enjoy these videos, please be sure to give me a thumbs up below. Please comment, let me know, when do you guys like to throw a chatterbait versus a non-skirted chatterbait? Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.